Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to Fix That Engineer where today, guys, I have way too much loot so we gotta spend some right off the bat. And I've got a lot of Dark Elixir too, but I don't have too much. I think I can get a few raids in without maxing my Dark Elixir storage, which means that um, be looking forward to probably a hero upgrade at the end of the video unless wait a minute we might have a problem uh let me go into my progress base right quick and let's figure out what's going on first i like the idea of upgrading the warden again we're so close to maxed out here um and it's 9.8 million elixir to send the warden to level 19 and then he's got one level to go before he's completely 100 percent maxed out um so i like the idea of doing that but also I like the idea of upgrading something in my laboratory because I've got a ton of stuff I need to do in my laboratory. So let me look at one thing right quick. Yes, I've got 400 metals. Can, can you see where I'm going with this? Um, and I've got two warden upgrades to go. Guys, I think that today we should splurge. Let's spend a lot of metals and let's max the warden yes let's use two hammers on the warden and max him out 100 percent yes that's the plan let's do this all right let's buy this hammer 165 metals and let's upgrade this warden with a hammer let's do this it's free i mean i don't need to spend any of my elixir and it's an immediate upgrade i love the hammers they're amazing so let's do this in three two one bam and yes the warden is now level 19 can you feel the tension i can feel the tension let's do this let's start off this video right and let's max the warden this upgrade to max for town hall 11 would cost us 10 million elixir i'd much rather spend this elixir on my laboratory troops so let's upgrade the warden to max let's go in three two one bam yes that's amazing okay and yes we cannot upgrade the warden to level 21 because we literally can't until we were town hall 12 if we ever go to town hall 12 on this account so that means that the warden is our very first max hero and that my friends is amazing <laughs> it's just amazing so now he's done our huge elixir demand that we're having to put up with is over now we can put all of our elixir into our laboratory we don't have any more upgrades that are elixir so after the laboratory is done then walls that's the only place we could put elixir besides obviously troops right so let's upgrade let me think let me think yes our laboratory okay so which troops could or, or, or spells which troops or spells could we upgrade with our elixir we got a ton of elixir so we might as well spend a lot of it so oh i never did upgrade my wall breakers i know i upgraded them once but i never did upgrade them again i think that's how that went down either way this one would be max for town all 11 you can tell because 9 million elixir for this upgrade that's ridiculous so let's go ahead and do this wall breaker fails are the worst so let's go ahead and do this um level seven wall breaker eight day upgrade nine million elixir in three two one bam and of course i have a book of fighting okay hold on 2.3 million elixir let's collect all that so i'm at 2.8 million elixir i'm going to collect this that is 4.6 million elixir and the cheapest elixir upgrade is i think 6 million so yeah oh no 4 million for the clone spell okay yeah let's let's use the why not let's use the book of fighting just like yesterday's um 10 11 let's play I, I feel i don't know i'm feeling impulsive so lately so it's fun it's let's do this let's upgrade let's finish it let's use the book of fighting right now in three two one bam and then i can afford this clone spell upgrade so why the bloody heck not a eh? let's upgrade it four million elixir four day upgrade in three two one bam dang it i've got another book of <laughs> oh i have another book of spells okay um i have plenty of dark elixir to upgrade something hold on so the king would be 133 right and i've got uh how much dark elixir do i have 179 so 33 79 that's 46,000 dark elixir so is there any dark elixir upgrade i can do that's less than 46,000 that haste upgrade is 40,000 okay do i i don't need haste upgrades for any reason um but at least then i'm not going to be wasting time all right let's do this let's use both of our books why the heck not let's go let's do this clone spell level two in three two one bam and then haste spell three two one bam 
And now we don't have any more books. Okay, cool. We've used up all of our stuff. That's awesome. I know I could have used the book of spells and something else, but I just wasn't using it. I just wasn't. I was too busy or something. So now I can't upgrade the queen because she's too expensive, but I can still upgrade the king. I can still afford that. So this is good. Now, the last thing I need to do before we get into the video, gosh, we're so long into the video already. I'm just trying to spin loot, guys. I'm trying to be smart about it. So let's upgrade the cheapest upgrades. Let's just get a few things out of the way. That's one million, um, right? Yeah, walls are one million. And the air defenses, the archer tower, and the cannon. Okay, we got one archer tower left. One level eight archer tower left. Let's go ahead and upgrade this, guys. One million gold in three, two, one. Bam. There we go. Um, I need to spend at least three more. So I guess now we'll focus on air defenses. Let's do air defenses. Yeah, yeah. One million gold per air defense. There we go. And oh man, I'm only going to have one builder left. Okay, that's fine. There we go. And now I need to spend a little bit of loot on. So I've got all, I've got three air defenses and an archer tower started already. Jeez. All right, and let's go ahead and do two of these just to open up our swords. Now we can go do some raiding. Oh my goodness, this video. Ridiculous. Having too much loot is a problem. <laughs> uh, goodness. All right, so let's try to get elixir, right? I'm, I'm really low on elixir. But let's also try to get a lot of dark elixir because, you know, we're trying to upgrade some heroes. So there we go. Okay, this this it's, this base should work. Um, I've got both my heroes. I've got a wall breaker, wall wrecker, and a ton of miners. So let's hit this base from the left side. Yeah, let's or the right side. There we go. So a few miners on the corner, a few miners on the corner. Wall wrecker in. Let's go king, queen, and warden. And let's get our miners in across the edge. There we go. Very nice. So with the wall wrecker, guys, the potential of this attack is ridiculously high. Also, what really helps is that there's no eagle artillery that I'm aware of. Nope, no eagle artillery. That is awesome. I like that a lot. And let's go ahead and poison and heal over the core. Do I have any troops in the core? I have, um, I'm going to rage the core too. I don't know, I don't know what troops were in there, but we, we have some. So let's heal that over there. Let's, uh, I don't know, maybe heal out of the backside for the wizard tower. Let's pop the warden's ability actually right now. Boom. There we go. We've actually, with that warden's ability, that's a level 20. That is a max warden ability right there. That is amazing. Oh, it feels so good to use that. Been farming up the Warden since the beginning of this series, and it's finally done. I mean, yeah, we still have both the King and the Queen to upgrade a lot, but at least the Warden is done. That's one less thing to worry about, right? So amazing. So awesome. And it looks like that's going to be now be the three-star for our troops. That Wall Wrecker makes a big difference. The Warden makes a big difference. We actually ended up saving a heal spell, which is Amazing. So that was a lot of loot. 600,000 plus gold, 550,000 plus elixir, and um, over 6,000 dark elixir. So amazing loot grab, guys. Loved it. Let's do it again. I'm just going to go immediately out. I don't even know what I have. I have no CC and I have no king. But I do have my queen and I do have my warden and I've got tons of miners. Let's go. Let's do this. Again, dark elixir. Can we can we do this one? Do we have the loot or do we have the... Yeah, we. I think we could probably do this one too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, let's put a few miners on the drill up there, and then let's put all the rest of the miners going through like that, warden through, and let's get the queen up going through there too. All right. So heal right there. I'm just gonna kind of get like a like a funnel, not a funnel, but like a cone of heals to try to keep these alive as long as possible. All right. We want to make sure we get them into the core. And I've also got my Warden's ability, so I've got like an, I've got a bunch of heal spells, and I've got the Warden's ability, which basically works like a heal spell. Not that it heals up the troops, but because it just keeps them alive longer than they probably should be. So, pop that Queen's ability at the last second. And I have no poison spell. What happened there? I don't know. Alright. Alright, there we go. Queen goes down. All of our miners are now approaching this Eagle Artillery. We need this these miners to take out the Eagle Artillery. We also need them to turn around and work on... The, uh, there we go. Get that dark out of that storage. <laughs> yes. And the Warden's ability almost helped him survive the eagle shot. I did not plan for the eagle shot. I should have. If I was watching, I would have waited on my Grand Warden's ability just a little longer. That would have been perfect, but wasn't planning ahead. But we got all the dark elixir, and that's what we came here for. So there you go. Where are my troops? Are we? What are we missing? Oh, hey. <laughs> One key miner. Uh, getting some free percentage. I mean, why not? Every single, especially up in like past Master League, 
the loot bonus is pretty significant. So if you're under 70%, you got one troop kind of sitting around getting percentage. That's basically free loot. And I don't know about you, but I like free loot. <laughs> I like free loot. So there you go. Tons of elixir again. Uh, over 5,000 dark elixir. That worked out very nicely. So, guys, let's see if we can spend any more loot. I mean, basically, I'm kind of stuck because I've got one builder left. And I want to upgrade a hero. So that builder would go for that hero, which means that I could spend the rest of my gold on defenses. Right? Or on walls. So let's go ahead and upgrade some walls. Um, we have 8 million gold, which means we can do 8 walls. I'm not counting, so I'm probably off. Oh, wow. <laughs> Perfect. I love that. All right. 8 million gold, guys. In 3, 2, 1. Bam. Nice. Making some great progress. I like it. And again, I keep getting asked in the comments, like, why haven't you, why are you not upgrading your defenses? Why do you keep upgrading walls? And I'm like, bro, how, how do I upgrade more defenses? Like, I literally always use all five builders. How am I supposed to upgrade more defenses? I don't understand the comment. I think now they're trolling me. Yeah. And now that I've said that, they're definitely going to troll me. <laughs> Mental note, Klaus. Mental note. Don't forget that. Anyway, so let's upgrade this king, guys. 133,000 Dark Elixir. Five and a half day upgrade. Uh, level 32. So what does that mean? 18 upgrades left until maxed. Yeah, that's a lot. Uh, but at least the Warden's maxed out. That's definitely something to be excited about today. With three. No, two. How many did I use? I think two. Hammers of fighting. Hammers of heroes. Whatever. I don't know. Anyway, let's do this, guys. 133,000 Dark Elixir in 3, 2, 1. Bam. And there you go. Actually, I could have... No, I couldn't have upgraded the Archer Queen. That's okay. We need, to, we need to try to keep our heroes level if we can. So, there you go, guys. Great day so far. I mean, we got a lot of stuff in the laboratory done. Now, the hay spell is rocking and rolling. Uh, King is going to level 32. And then, of course, we got the final Archer Tower going to level 9. Finally, and then um, our air defenses, and then after the air defenses, actually, we have, let me look, we have these cannons. Oh, wow, so it's going to be another round of cannons. Basically, again, doing the cheapest uh, defenses as we can, trying to get our walls upgraded, because believe me, believe me this, once we get all of our walls past level 11, or like all of them are level 11, because that's only 2 million loot per wall. That's not terrible, all right? But the next wall level after that is 4 million loot each. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So the grind is going to definitely slow down. <laughs> that's that's for dang sure. So um, guys, I get... Oh, wow, that was a lot of gold. I guess I had forgotten to collect my, my stuff. Also, we'll collect that too. Nice. All right, guys. Well, unfortunately, I think that is all for uh, for me today. That was an amazing, amazing episode. The Warden is maxed out, guys. If you're excited about having a Max Warden on Fixed Engineer, then hit that like button. Also, hit that subscribe button if you have not done so already for daily gaming videos. Um, and remember that I love each and every one of you. And I will see you all again next time.